security, no death panel for Social Security. Keep your hands off Social Security. I have a petition here from over half a million Americans who say, keep your hands off of Social Security. We don't need a smoky back room. I would like you to listen to the American people when they say absolutely no cuts to Social Security. A vote for a commission is a vote to cut Social Security. Okay, so let's see what uh, Representative Pasquale has to say about Social Security. Social Security is a success story. 90 years. It stands as a monument to decency and dignity and the birthright of hard-working Americans. Yet, throughout its storied history, Mr. Larson, it has been under attack. Even in 1935, it has been the subject of attacks and lies from day one. The Republican Study Committee which represents three quarters of House Republicans, proposed slashing Social Security benefits by $718 billion. The GOP leadership wants to create a so-called fiscal commission in our government funding bill. That is a wolf in sheep's clothing. I'm proud to join my friend and friends and my friend Congressman John Larson in a letter opposing this cynical ploy to slash Social Security and Medicare. Okay, so that was Representative Pasquarell. I didn't realize that was actually the clip from, I showed this last week, so it was a clip from the House floor. But I want to dive in a little bit deeper about this, this commission, this fiscal commission that they want to put together. Now understand this too. This fiscal commission is not going to be just for Social Security. It's going to be for all of the agencies. And so what they're going to be doing is looking at, is there wasteful spending when it comes to all of these different, these different agencies? But the only agency that's off the table is going to be defense spending, which I think should be on the table because we know how money gets lost when it goes to the Pentagon. And they're saying that for the last six years, the Pentagon has been off when it comes to the budget. Uh, they, they have money that's, that's gone somewhere where they don't know where it is. They can't account for it. Uh, so they really need to have a fiscal commission when it comes to our defense spending. But no, they're just talking about the general fund. They're talking about money that's going to these different agencies. We already know right now that, that Social Security, the Social Security Administration, is struggling to hire people. And they're struggling when it comes to customer service. They're struggling when it comes to getting these claims, the, the, the Social Security disability claims, getting them done in a, in a timely manner. Some people have to wait up to 18 months just to get the, the final decision. Because if you get denied right off the bat, then you're going to have to appeal it. When you appeal it, then you could get denied again and they have to move forward. Sometimes it takes a very long time, between 15 and 18 months, I think is, is what they're saying right now. And then, not to mention the overpayments. This big problem that we're having in 2023, they sent out almost a million letters to people receiving social security benefits, telling them that they owe money to the social security administration because the social security administration overpaid them. And so you can only imagine things will get worse if they start cutting budgets across the board. If they start cutting the social security administration and and different uh, agencies, it's going to be a disaster. And not to mention, we elect these people to represent us. So if you're having this secret commission you should not have experts that are not represented by, you know, that are not voted in to office. Those people should not even uh, take part. And if they do take part, only as an advisor and not, not a voting party. Okay, so I don't know exactly how they're going to set this up, but if they do have them as a voting party, that's, that's just not, that's not democracy. That's, we didn't elect these people. And so they should not be voting. So if they're advising... Okay, that's fine. But then another thing when it comes to advising, whoever chooses the experts, they're going to choose the expert that is going to benefit their, their end outcome, right? They're going to look at it. Let's say Representative Johnson, and we know already, Speaker Johnson, I always say representative. I'm not even used to calling him a speaker yet, but Speaker Johnson, we know how he feels about Social Security reform. We know he's saying, oh, we're not going to cut, so we're, we're going to protect Social Security. 
but he's not for expanding Social Security. And we don't know how he wants to protect Social Security. Does that mean raise the full retirement age up? He's been in favor of that in the past. So is he in favor of that now? We don't know the answers to these questions. And so if he is going to select these experts, he's going to select experts that are going to be in favor of raising the full retirement age, in favor of making some cuts to Social Security so they can prolong the program. But are they going to be in favor of expanding Social Security? So if those are the only experts that you have, you're going to have you, you're not going to get the, that outcome that you want when it comes to improving Social Security. So I just wanted to bring this forward. Um, there there was another video, and if I can find that video, I'll put it in this video. Uh, we'll end with that. But you had the executive director of the Social Security Works, and he is actually doing a protest. He actually went on to the uh, uh, committee hearing. Security. No death panel for Social Security. Keep your hands off Social Security. I have a petition here from over half a million Americans who say keep your hands off of Social Security. We don't need a smoky back room. I would like you to listen to the American people when they say absolutely no cuts to Social Security. A vote for a commission is a vote to cut Social Security. No cuts to Social Security. No cuts to Social Security. So I just thought that was interesting that he went. I mean, I've seen him before. He's actually sat on these these uh, different hearings and spoke as an expert. But now he's out there doing protests, you know, and then you had the officer come in and take him out and all that. And so I just wanted to let you guys know what the latest news is when it comes to Social Security and Social Security reform. Right now, it looks like you have a lot of politicians that are talking about this now. The buzz is out there about Social Security, and so let's hope that continues, and let's hope we can move forward with some type of a reform this year in 2024. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.